Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on May 13th, 2025. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at our sun for the past 48 hours, as it has been busy. Did report this morning the X1 solar flare, so minor X-class solar flare from outgoing sunspot region 4082. Also, multiple plasma filaments, filaments which have been documented for the past few days. Another one swirling, cresting into view here. This is the last 48 hours turning into view. That means incoming for the Earth phasing party. This is where most of the action was. We saw one M class solar flare before the X. Large plasma filament ejecta from the X-class solar flare did produce a large coronal mass ejection. Having a look now at multi-spectrum pointing out the last 48 hours of events, as well looking at bottom left showing the magnetic field of our sun during this next coronal hole event. As you can see, it is cresting into view right now. Southern coronal hole as well. Plasma filaments to watch. It's definitely been an interesting uh, outro to solar maximum as we have reached its peak. But I think there's still a lot more to come, folks. Amazing images here brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory mixed with daily events worldwide. Thank you so much for pressing play. Looking at all these amazing images of our sun today. Here's a look at the sunspot regions in motion. Nothing that is Earth facing right now, but we do have a pretty big sunspot region opposite of the one that just produced the X class solar flare, turning into view right there. 4087 is a big player. It could turn out to be a double sunspot region and as powerful as 4082, which was a beast. Current space weather conditions right now are three strong radio blackout impacts from this most recent X-class solar flare. Solar winds are coming in at 382 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux, as you can see there, X1 solar flare, a couple moderate C-class solar flares. Proton flux is static and high, not quite into the solar storm region just yet. Having a look at the most recent space weather prediction Spirals, next geomagnetic event expected 16th into the 17th as we are about to be impacted by the coronal hole region. Here is a look at Alaska 3 wide spectrum, able to see all of the coronal mass ejections from the plasma filaments that took off and as well the solar flares. All these images brought to you by SOHO. And NASA. Here's tonight's Aurora forecast and tomorrow's. Not much to see tonight, but stay tuned for the 16th into the 17th. Now let's get to earthquakes, shakers, and movers around the world. We did just see a strong 6.0 earthquake in Greece after a 4.9 in Faraj. We had a 6.0 in Fry, Greece, 74 kilometer depth. As well as 4.4 Naples, Italy. Lots of action in the North African plate. As well as 4.7 earthquake here reported in Iceland, between Iceland and the Rick James Ridge. Notable 5.9 earthquake here, Loreto, Mexico, off the coast. San Antonio de los Cobros. 5.1 reported down here in Argentina. Notable earthquakes, 3.6 at the estates in Hawaii. Large eruption there yesterday. Deepest earthquake past 24 hours right here. Bonin Islands region, Japan, 453 kilometer depth. It's been pretty quiet through the uh, southwest ring of fire. But right now, 
The North Polar region is about to go through a big shift heading into summertime. Here is a look at the last seven days for shakers and movers around the world. Strongest being the 6.0 that just struck Greece. The same day that we're getting an X-Class solar flare. We've been bombarded by geomagnetic events over the past couple weeks. We saw an earth uptick in earthquakes around the world. Please, if you live in an earthquake-prone zone, have a plan and be ready. It's all about aware and prepared. No fear here. Now let's have a look at the SO2 forecast brought to you by the active and erupting volcanoes. Pretty large eruption at Ken Lone and as well Hawaii and Mexico all through Guatemala as well southern Japan and eastern Russia, Kamchatka. Volcanoes are popping off all over the place. La Soufriere awakened today. So that is now 80 volcanoes around the world active and erupting. That is the most I've ever reported in my eight years here broadcasting. Average is 25 to 35. That was reported just six months ago. And we were already at 60. So please, everybody, like and share today. Imperative, important information shared here. Now let's get to world weather. As you can see, a low pressure system gets blocked there by high pressure ridge. About four or five days, that low is going to be grinding there. Daily extreme weather events across central United States. Watch for a big low pressure system in the long range. High pressure ridge off the coast is having all of these systems come in from the Pacific, riding up and over the high pressure ridge through the Rockies and then crashing down to central United States. It's going to be a wild week. Warmer temperatures starting to really funnel northward. Now let's have a look at Southeast Asia, Africa, and Australia. Monsoon rains really starting to pick up. And as well, daily evaporation rains through Central Africa will be heavy this week. Other than that, no cyclones or typhoons forecast here in the long range. Just a lot of rain through the regular monsoon regions. Here's the big high pressure ridge I was talking about, directing everything northward to Alaska and parts of northern BC. That thing is going to stretch wide open and another one coming in from the north is going to make things very interesting through the North Pacific. I'd like to share here with you the upper level winds once in a while. It's been a few days. Here is a look at our upper level winds right now. As the polar vortex has shifted, the strong polar vortex shifted to the southern hemisphere. It is organized and ready to usher in winter 2025. Hope you all enjoyed the show. If you did, please don't forget to give a thumbs up. Much love, stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your daily due. Bye now.